by two of those returnees, Parker Fox and Dawson Garcia, along with Coach Ben Johnson. Great to have all three of you here. And I want to ask you all kind of the same question, but the, the end of last year was really a positive for you. So how do you build on it? How do you take that momentum and turn an NIT team into what I know you want to be, which is a, an NCAA team? Yeah, it was a, extremely positive. You know, I think going into year three, we wanted to develop like what a winning culture looked, felt, acted like. And that was the biggest goal. You know, how do we operate like winners every single day? And so to be able to, to end the year in postseason play, although it's not the NCAA tournament, but the opportunity to play postseason, to go on the road, to beat a really good Butler team and, and get a win, um, really sets the stage hopefully for this year. But not only this year, but the summer. And in the fall with just the attitude and the mindset that we have to have of that that's the standard and how do we build off that so how do you build off it Parker yeah I think uh, just bringing in the right guys you know I give coach a lot of credit you know he, he does a really good job of recruiting character uh, recruiting guys that want to be at Minnesota recruiting good locker room guys um, and then in turn they're good players as well um, so you know we have brought in a lot of new guys but we've meshed really well um, we've done you know a lot of work this summer just uh, you know getting up and down and playing I think that's uh, a credit to Ben is just kind of identifying what we need and um, you know as basketball players you need to know when a guy wants to cut or a guy wants to space or uh, who wants to set ball screens all that little stuff so I think our biggest thing is just kind of familiar uh, familiarizing each other with each other's games uh, and that's been our biggest kind of focus this summer. Dawson Parker talking about players who want to be at Minnesota and you are from Minnesota and you came home to play for the Gophers and coach has spoken really openly this summer saying, hey, Dawson could have gone elsewhere. And the implication is that maybe there would have been more money or different opportunities elsewhere. But you chose to stay at Minnesota. Why was it important to you to finish your career as a gopher, to play for Coach Johnson, to play with Parker and your teammates? Yeah, just staying obedient to my faith and just trusting and believing in the coaching staff, the players, my teammates around me, and just understanding that this group can uh, do something special. I have a tremendous amount of pride for wearing that Minnesota across my chest every single time that I step on the floor, and it gives me a lot of purpose every, sing every single day when I look in the mirror. So what does this year mean for you? There's a lot of talk about you as a potential conference player of the year type player. You made the preseason all-conference team, so one of the, the 10 players singled out as, as the best by the media. W what do you think about when you think about I know you think about team goals and making the tournament, but individually, how can you grow this year? Yeah, my thing is just finding a couple of things that I was working on this summer, and that's just shooting the ball more consistently and playmaking. But when it comes down to that, it's just uh, um, those preseason accolades are cool, but just having the understanding that rant is due every single day, and Coach has done a great job um, this start of the year and then summer of building a highly competitive practice. And so we've been going at each other every single day. And there's been ups and downs, and I think that we've done a great job competing against each other, and we're going to continue to do that. You injured your foot, I know, this summer. How are you on your recovery? I'm doing great. Um, thankfully, um, I've been blessed to be back playing fully, fully cleared. So it's been it's been going well. Parker, speaking of injuries, you battled them quite famously. You had two years that you lost entirely, and you were back out there last year, and you brought so much energy to this team and really got better and better as the season went on. You're also a Minnesota kid. What did it mean to you to finally get that opportunity after two heartbreaking years to play for the Gophers? Yeah, I mean, it meant the world. Um, you know, obviously, uh, I'm a player for the Gophers, but I'm a fan of the Gophers as well. And I want to, uh, you know, leave this program better than I found it. Um, you know, obviously, uh, Coach was gracious enough to stay by my side through the, you know, the two injuries. Um, you know, and that's another reason why I'm, I'm still around today is because, you know, I feel like I owe this program a whole lot um, because it's, uh, it's given me so many different um, avenues and platforms that, that I'm going to use after basketball um, but in terms of this year I think the biggest thing for me is just continuing to be that everyday guy continue to be that leader um, you know it, it's not about you know my numbers and my stats but but how can I get guys like Dawson and guys like Mike you know all, all these guys in the right spots to uh, to be as successful as they can be um, and then obviously last year we, we saw some winning from that so uh, we want to build on that and, and continue to win basketball games that's that's what matters at the end of the day so by my math this is your eighth year of college am I it is. yeah year eight yeah, year? I, sh I should be a doctor at this point right <laughs> yes I should exactly yeah, are, are you working on a Ph.D.? Like, what, what does one do academically 
in their eighth year yeah. of college. Unfortunately not. You know, practice schedule came uh, came a little into the, the PhD route. I did apply and and I got in, but uh, I decided Seriously? to go, I decided to go elsewhere um, and, and just do some um, you know, I got my master's degree, I got okay. a business. You literally applied to a PhD program. I did, yeah, yeah. It took the wow. time to, to write uh, you know, all the different uh, references and all that kind of stuff. But um, you know, after getting the master's degree I was kinda like, Do I wanna keep, you know, with the whole school route or I kinda yeah. wanna lock in and you know, going through the the injuries as well, you spend so much time um, you know, in the training room and uh, so much time focusing on my mental with you know sports psychology and all that kind of stuff. So um, you know, kind of set the education aside after getting an undergrad and a master's degree, but but still taking classes and, and taking some fun classes and learning a, a little bit of d different things. You know. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. He, he chose the right path. Yeah, so, yeah. No, I mean, yeah. I, you know, working on that doctoral thesis while you're breaking down a game tape of Michigan State or whatever, I I, I do feel like uh, that would be a lot. You have deep connections to Minnesota, as we said. Your girlfriend, Taylor Heisey, of course, a, a great hockey player at Minnesota and then was the MVP of the championship of this new women's professional hockey league this year. What was it like to be on that ride with her this year? Yeah, it's phenomenal. Uh, just to see the way that she competes. Um, we have such a you know unique relationship where um, you know obviously we want the best for each other, um, but at the same time we want to push each other to be you know the best version of that. Um, we just bought a home a couple months ago, uh, so we're living together now and we're really enjoying just kind of pushing each other to be the best version um, of themselves individually, but then as a unit as well. And then uh, you know our season ended and I was able to go out to Boston. Austin and watch her win the championship, watch her win the MVP. So um, it's just super excited um, for, for me. It's just such a fun time, both being in Minnesota. Um, so we're trying to cherish that because you never know what you know, the next step is going to look like. So uh, life is really good right now. Oh, it's wonderful. Let's dive into the team a little bit. You've got these guys back. You have a few players who were key contributors, as we saw last season. But you do have a ton of new additions. And I think one thing that you've done really, really well, and Dawson maybe is the exception because he's a, a high major guy that everyone knew but you have done a great job of finding kind of diamonds in the rough, players who are low major and mid-major players who can compete and win in the Big Ten. How do, you, how do you try to, when you're watching a player who's playing at a different level, how are you able to see like how it translates in your mind and how are you able to find kind of guys who do have enough game to be good Big Ten players? Yeah, that's a good question because you never truly know. You know, it's like in recruiting, it's a, it's a lot of a, a crapshoot, gut feel, trust your eyes. Uh, you know, one of those guys is, is Mike Mitchell, who's here with us today. Um, you know, you watch Mike on tape and you always try to look for, you know, does that player have something that translates that helps impact winning and his ability to shoot the basketball, his feel, ability to be versatile to play on and play off the ball. So as you're as you're in the portal, you're just you're looking for those guys that kind of play similarly to how we play, that have a feel, and then hopefully have something that you feel like, regardless of level, will translate and help to impact winning. What's the next step for each one of these guys this year? What's the next step for Dawson? Next step for Parker? We talk a lot about you know being consistent. Um, I think both of these guys have done a really good job. Um, of being workers every day and making that a consistent habit and leadership making that a consistent habit, making their voice a consistent habit. Um, but then across the board, just the performance level is not about numbers, but it's about things that impact winning. Could be a screen, could be offensive rebound, could be running the floor, could be just keeping the offense moving. But being consistent in those daily habits, these guys are talented enough and good enough where I think if your habits are good, it's going to result in really good production. And how we go is, is how these guys go, and it's not pressure. It's just is what it is. When these guys have put in the time and put in the work and they have my trust, um, you know, you want to be able to lean on them each and every day, and they've done a great job of that so far. You guys are out there on the practice court every day. Give us a name or two of players who Big Ten fans might not be familiar with on your roster who could have a huge impact on winning this year. Dawson, I'll start with you. Yeah, I'll start with uh, Frank Mitchell and Femi. You know, I feel like they've done a great job so far bringing high, high energy every single day. And those are things like Coach alluded to, you know, that impact winning in a big time way. Yeah, uh, I think Lukai Patterson is a name. Uh, you know, a lot of Big Ten fans are, are going to be a fan of. Obviously, he's a, a Minneapolis kid, uh, so he's back home now. Gets to play in front of you know family and friends, just like you know me and Dawson do. Uh, and he's a guy that wants to be here, so uh, he's going to do a really good job, of kind of helping our offense lead. And then also want to uh, highlight Femi Odakale as well. Um, just a guy that you know he really has a knack. I think he's fifth or sixth year, so he's, he's been around a lot, uh, played at some high major spots, and uh, just really has a knack for the game. And you can kind of sense that early in practice. Fifth or sixth year, so a young guy, Parker. Yeah, yeah one of those. <laughs> young cats. Yeah, one of those young guys. I, teach I couldn't resist. Too. I'm sorry. You just you I'll, put it on the team for me. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, Dr. Fox, 
I'm going to call you doctor. I love it. Dawson Garcia, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, really looking forward to watching the Gophers this year. And Ben, always great to see you, my friend. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks.